Hi I have an error code 6 on my sapphire spa, the tub seems to function fine, but as soon as the heater turns on the tub cuts out with an error 6. It's a spa quip 1200, I contacted the supplier, who initially said I needed a new capacitor for the pump which I purchased and changed, however same problem. I then purchased a new heater element, still same fault, makes me think there is nothing wrong with the old ones. I have run it with filters out, all jets open, bleed the union joints the two pumps run fine, up until the heater comes on, then it cuts out. The tub's water is cold, and I can't think what else to do, apart from change the circuit board, but what if it's not the board? Any advice would be welcome, thanks Nick. Welcome. My name is would be glad to assist. Interesting that they reference to a capacitor and heater. Error 6 is a thermal cutout switch. Thermal cutout each 1200 contains two thermal cutout devices, also known as clicksons. They are electromechanical devices that act as a switch. When heated above 50 degrees Celsius plus slash minus 3 degrees Celsius the clickson will switch off creating an open circuit. When they cool below 38 degrees Celsius they switch on and create a short circuit. They are placed in series with the heating elements and tightly coupled, thermally, to the brass element boss. The elements will then be switched off if the brass element boss gets too hot. It sounds as though the switch is bad, if the unit turns the heat off when only just started. It would normally take a while to heat the water and trip the cutout. Unless any of the below show signs of a problem. Things to check and verify, error 6 equals thermal cutout trip this error indicates that the safety electromechanical over temperature cutout on the heater has operated. This is not necessarily a problem with the SP1200 itself. It may have been caused by high temperatures during shipping or by disconnection or failure of the pump. Waiting for the heater to cool below about 38 degrees Celsius and switching the power off and on again will clear this error. Check valves are open correctly, pumps are working and that there is adequate water flow through the heater tube. Check that filters are clean and jets are open. Check thermal cutouts in pumps and other equipment. Run pump directly from mains to see if it overheats and cuts out. Check all connections in the controller are tight and clean. Make sure air cannot collect in the heater tube. Refer to the circulation pump and or ozone sections of this manual when using these systems. When all options have been exhausted change the circuit board. Click here and see a cutout if needed. You can test which is the problem, by bypassing and just connect the two wires together and see if it shuts down. Do one at a time to find the problem one. But, you must be right there when testing and put the wires back after, it would be dangerous to operate bypassed for any other reason. Thanks. Hi Tommy, I tried both klaxons, by bypassing, disconnected one at a time and joined the two wires. I also tried with both disconnected. However, I still have the same problem, as soon as the heater comes on it trips out, and I have a error 6. The heater is new. So both the klaxons are new as well, so should. Be okay I can't think what else to do, as I said the only thing I haven't done is change the circuit board. I think I need to get a service engineer to visit and fix, what do you think? Nick. Okay, understand. Unfortunately after all items have been verified in the procedures, the board is the last item on the list. When all options have been exhausted change the circuit board. I would do one last test and bypass both the cutouts at the same time. If still getting the error, 
it sure points to the board, since they will not even be in the circuit to activate the error. Odd for a new installation, to say the least. Would check with the dealer to see if there is still warranty time left. Thanks. Hi Tommy, yes I did that as well, bypassed both, at the same time and still got the error. Suppose I am going to have to get a new circuit board. I will check the warranty, see if I get any joy with that. Thanks for your help anyway Nick. Okay, sorry to hear it had no effect. But, you have done all the proper steps to this point. It points to the board by the book and the results you have with the bypass. Maybe some warranty time still left to absorb the cost. Thanks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.